Hey, Matthew Wilson with Worms Etc. here. Today I'm going to be setting up a Worm Factory 360. It's a great product uh, and it comes with everything that you're going to need to start your worm farm. I highly recommend it. Um, it comes with the cocoa core for bedding and this uh, it doesn't look like much but when you add it to water it really expands. It takes a few minutes so I will go ahead and add it to the water I have here in this container. That way it can be expanding. Uh, throughout the you know the rest of the time <clears throat> we'll give it just a few more minutes here to continue to expand okay so we have our core expanding here and we have the rest of our worm factory 360 here here's the base and the worm ladder goes with the uh, funnel cone or ladder facing down. It sits like that. The spigot <coughs> needs to go here. Just put the nut on it and thread it too. Snug but not real tight. <coughs> Our worm ladder sits in there with this down. Then we put our first tray on the bottom. We should add two to three layers of newspaper to the bottom of this. About three or four sheets thick. Greater Greer. Uh, Greater Greenville newspaper, I believe this was, is out in our driveway. We don't subscribe to the newspaper, but they uh, send us uh, uh, complimentary copies, I guess. Yeah, it looks like everyone on the street is getting one. So there that is on the bottom. And to our uh, bedding, instructions say to add a uh, um, cup of compost. Mix that up. Oh, and by the way, uh, the instructions said only to do half of the core. I did the whole block. Um, so just keep that in mind. You uh, should only use half of the uh, coconut core. And I said to add a cup of the, of the pumice. <clears throat> pumice comes with a kit. It, uh, keeps the um, everything aerated and kind of uh, so that air circulates helps drain off water too I think in any case it'll help keep uh, the worm bed aerated and it'll also help keep your garden aerated once you put this into your garden pumice is an interesting rock it's uh, mostly air and a lot of pumices will actually float in water it's uh, unique rock in the fact that it will float in water. I don't think this pumice will, but so sometimes some pumice will. <clears throat> Here's a shredder newspaper. So to add some of that to it, so we'll mix this up real good. For me, it's a very familiar smell, the shredded cardboard and shredded newspaper. Uh, we have a large machine that we uh, put our cardboard uh, into, you know, the boxes and stuff, and we shred the cardboard up and we feed it to our worms frequently. All right, so that's mixed up pretty well. Add it to the bottom here. And uh, the compost can be just uh, uh, compost from a compost pile, or if you don't have a compost pile, it said you know, just, just anywhere that you can find some decaying leaves uh, or a pile of uh, uh, grass clippings or something that's decayed somewhere. If you live in a city, you might look underneath some of the shrubbery for like a uh, pile of leaves that towards the bottom of it, you'll see this black matter. Kind of looks like this. Well, that, that's compost. You just want to add a little bit into it to, uh, to uh, start the whole process going. And... In one corner, here's uh, some old lettuce and some old cabbage. The cabbage had some mold growing on it, 
So uh, I was gonna throw it out, feed it my worms down there actually. But since we're doing this video here, we'll go ahead and start it. And there's like some bits of old mushrooms and stuff. Just some stuff in the kitchen that went to waste. And said add two handfuls here to the uh, uh, to the worm bin, and then to kind of cover the whole thing with uh, shredded paper, such. And well, you know what? The bag it's coming in. I'm gonna shred it up too. Throw it in there. The worms will eat it, just like they will anything else. Guess I could spend a little more time to shred it quickly. I mean to shred it more thoroughly, but for the sake of video here. Okay, and on top of that, we're gonna add another layer of newspaper. <clears throat> and We're going to moisten this down. This top layer of newspaper here, we just want to get it kind of wet. Is all. Now, this should sit for a day or two until the worms arrive. Um, we just kind of want to let it sit and let everything kind of get stirring and uh, the compost working. And then when the worms arrive, we're just going to peel this back and put the worms in there. I'm going to put the lid on here, let it sit for a couple days. And we'll come back and finish this, uh, this um, add the worms to it and let it go from there. We're just going to add our worms on top here. And that's all we're going to do with worms right now. We're going to put this newspaper back on top of them. And they will actually find their way uh, quite well, just, just like that. Put, put the lid on there, and you're good to go. Like I said, you can get the Worm Factory 360 in terracotta, green, or black. Uh, you can get it in the 360 or the regular Worm Factory three, four, five trays. Um, <clears throat> on my webpage, when you order the Worm Factory 360, you'll see a little drop-down box if you want to add worms. You can add a pound of red wigglers, a pound of euros, um, and it's wormsetc.com. My name's Matthew, I'm the owner. Uh, you can email me at matthew at wormsetc.com, and my cell phone number is 864-430-5869. Be glad to help you out with any questions you have or uh, to place an order. Uh, thank you for your time and watching the video. I hope uh, you learned something. And um, I highly recommend this product. Both of these products are great. And uh, so thank you. Yeah, and if you've been watching my videos, you know that uh, I'm doing an experiment here on worm castings and tomato plants. Uh, I put these in just a few days ago. They haven't had a chance to germinate yet. But... Um, once they do, we'll give you an update on that. Also, in a uh, couple, let's see, probably about two weeks, we'll do an update on this, see how these worms are doing, see how they're uh, composting the cabbage and stuff, and we'll be adding some more food waste stuff to this as well. Uh, once again, thank you for watching.